Hi, in this video I will show you how to connect your Pixel 7a and also Pixel 8 to your computer, Mac or laptop. First things first, grab your charging cable and make sure it's connected to your device, whatever it is. Then obviously plug it in and unlock your device. Ok, this is going to be the most important step right now. You'll need to scroll from your, up, your screen up or to down, like this. And a notification here will appear, charging the device via USB. Click on that, click again for more options. And now you'll need to select this option, use USB for file transfer. If you don't do this step, you won't really uh, be able to connect to your device and do anything you want. So, make sure this is enabled. And that was basically the most important step. If you don't see this option and nothing really pops up here uh, and it doesn't really show anything in the notifications, uh, there's most probably something wrong with your cable. Or uh, maybe something is stuck in your phone port as well. So, uh, what we can do is first inspect if there's something in your phone port uh, via flashlight maybe, shine tint and see and then maybe use a small brush to brush it out anyway you can check out my channel I have guide on how to clean it also the second thing make sure you try to use your original cable the phone came with otherwise it might not work as for some cheap cables it simply doesn't work, it's uh, not good enough. Also maybe your cable is worn down and you maybe need to look for a new cable, try that if you don't see that. But that was basically the most important thing. Then when you are done with that, you can go to the computer and for I'm using Windows and I'll need to select this PC. Then you'll need to select your device, this uh, this will work for pretty much all pixels, pixels 8, pixel 7a, pixel 6a, pixel 6 and even older ones. Then select it, click on internal shared storage and if you are looking to transfer all the images or videos you will need to click on this DCIM folder. If you are looking to transfer maybe some files to your computer then you can maybe make a new folder and transfer them there. Otherwise, you're looking for your image, click there on the DCM and then go to camera. After you click on the camera, it will take a long time to load your pictures and videos, depending how much you got. Uh, it might take a very, very long time, maybe even 10 minutes if your device is almost full. It's important to not to try to touch these images or try to copy them as, as it's discovering them, basically. If you try to uh, maybe copy them or access them, the whole thing basically will crash uh, most of the times. It's not really... you have to wait, basically, to, for this process to finish. Alright, it took me around uh, 5 minutes to discover all my files. Okay. Now that it's finished and it's not showing that it's doing something anymore, we can select the files we need. For example, the, we, if you want to select the latest, latest pictures, you have to scroll all the way down in your folder. Then simply select the pictures you want and right click on the windows and select copy and go to your folder where you want to paste them and simply paste. And that's it or any images. Then maybe if you want to transfer any movies to your uh, phone, then you'll need to go back uh, and maybe go to movies folder or you can create any folder on your device. It doesn't really matter. And then you can open the source of your movies basically and again simply drag them on here and it'll copy and now you will be able to see this movie on your phone. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!